so for him. Well, so um, he, we know he was, uh, he had drag marks on his back, burnt, basically rug burns. Um, he had marks on his back, uh, scars from being hit with a belt. He had um, black eyes. He had um, multiple broken ribs, 11. And it all told, our medical examiner, the expert, testified that he believed that that clearly happened in multiple incidents. Evidence at the trial of people that testified about what kind of kid he was. That he was a good kid, he was a happy kid. And here we have evidence on the last day from Defendant Smith's own mouth that um, he spills his cereal and he's so afraid that he's running away and he's stuttering about it when he's confronted about it and he urinates on himself. Um, that just speaks of the, the kind of fear that he was in at this point. And, and, and that was also testified to by other members of the family uh, leading up to that in the summer of 2017 on. Um, when he was away from them, he was fine. When he was with them, he was not. Anything you want to hear from the judge, Mr. King? So the whole notion of, and something that really stuck with me always, and, and, and we talked about that multiple times when we were getting the case ready. The fact that they turned this uh, four-year-old boy, uh, who by all accounts was such a bright, beautiful little kid into somebody who would stutter um, out of fear of his mom and her and, and her boyfriend um, it just showed what the what kind of emotional abuse that he was also under, uh, enduring during the same period of time so I mean it was horrific what this kid had to endure and I think that's why it was important for us to advocate that there be a consecutive sentence for the endangering the welfare of the child charge Thank you. Do you have any reaction to the sentence, Mr. King? Any reaction to the consecutive to the life term? Any reaction to the sentence, Ms. Smith? Do you have any? When he was away from them, he was fine. When he was with them, he was not. Um, that his personality certainly changed the, the last uh, months of his life. And, and I think that um, that, that just is so sad when you think about it. He was a kid who people cared about and loved um, and was such a happy kid. Uh, Lauren and I saw videos of, of him playing and running and things of that nature, you know, just months before this happened. So we know what, it, we know what kind of life he, he could have lived, and, and, that, and that makes us even sadder. Jr. reporting for Digital First Media from the Montgomery County Courthouse in Norristown.